Hi, I'm Ivan Zoot for Rock, Paper, Shears, and you know, when we struggle to build business in the beauty business, and there's lots of clients out there and we all want a few more of them, we talk about issues of retention. You know, a new client, You've put effort and energy into getting them. Maybe they were a referral. Maybe you got them through advertising uh, or some other form of marketing. Maybe they were a walk-in who wandered in the door. New customers are like a raw nugget of gold. And you want to polish this nugget of gold so that it is a jewel in your collection. So let's talk about retention. I've got some tips for retaining clients, for building your customer base and keeping these people happy customers coming back and sending their friends more happy customers. Tip number one, discover your USP. USP stands for your unique selling proposition. It is the answer to the question, why should I get my hair cut by Ivan? How many licensed haircutters are there in your town, your county, your state, or in this country? There's so many to choose from. The fact that anybody chooses you or me is kind of a little miracle. However, we need to stand out from the crowd. The standards today in the industry are extraordinarily high. The reality is just about everybody can cut hair. And how good are they? Most of them are good enough. If all you are is a good hair cutter, you haven't given me a powerful reason to make the choice that you would be my hair cutter. So discover your USP. It's the answer to the question, why Ivan? Why you? What's so special? If you don't know, let's work on figuring that out because it can be a variety of different things. My purpose here is not to tell you why you're special. My purpose here is to tell you you need to know and discover why you're special. And once you figure it out, you need to share that enthusiastically. That's your message, your marketing, and your branding. Number one, your USP. Number two, you must use suggest and recommend professional take-home hair care product. Fundamental to long-term client retention and happiness is the use, recommendation, suggestion, and purchase of professional take-home hair care product. And here's why, it's pretty simple. Product buyers like their hair more. They're happier. Happy clients stay, and happy clients send friends. It's just that simple. Selling product, yeah, I mean, you're gonna make money. Bottom line, there's dollars involved, but bigger than the dollars is the long-term health and happiness of a client in their relationship with you. It's the number one reason why take-home is so important to our industry. Use, suggest, and recommend professional take-home. Number three on the list, asking for referrals. Happy customers sending their friends. There's three sentences you need to know, and you need to say every client Every time, no exceptions. From the top, here we go. Number one, thank you for the opportunity to cut your hair. Say it, reach out, shake their hand and smile. Thank you for the opportunity to cut your hair. Developing an attitude of gratitude. Sentence number two, starting over from the top. Number one, thank you for the opportunity to cut your hair. Number two, I appreciate your business. Once again, reinforcing that gratitude. I appreciate your business. I, I'm the beneficiary of this, appreciate gratitude, you, your, and its business. This is not social. I mean, there's a social aspect to what we do, but remember, at the end of the day, this is a business relationship. I am performing a service, and you are giving me money. Don't lose sight of that. From the top, thank you for the opportunity to cut your hair. I appreciate your business. If I gave you two cards, would you send me two friends? If I gave you two cards, would you send me two friends? Word it in the form of a question. Ask politely and ask for friends. Don't ask for a referral. A referral is what you get when you need a specialist doctor to solve a problem. I don't want a referral. I want your friends. That's important. Thank you for the opportunity to cut your hair. I appreciate your business. If I gave you two cards, would you send me two friends? Every client, every time, no exceptions. Make it part of your business DNA. It works. Next on the list, rebooking. Rebooking is the art, and it's truly an art, of getting the client back on the appointment book today before they leave. It is about ensuring and securing your long-term business and future, and it's easy. It's easy if you're a very busy professional, and it's easy if you're brand new and right out of school and you have no customers. Rebooking is easy. Here's how it sounds. Hey, Mary, I'm really busy. If you don't book today, you're not getting in. You know what? It's not any more complicated than that for a busy hair cutter. Hey, Mary, I know you like Tuesdays. I book up pretty quick. Let's set up your appointment today before you leave. That's rebooking. 
It's real simple. Just make sense. Don't make up stories. Be honest with people. Now, if you've got no customers, if you're brand new, the only customer you've had so far is your mom, your book is totally empty from now until, oh, I don't know, forever, what does your rebooking conversation sound like? It's easy. Here's how it sounds. Hey, Mary, you know, I'm getting busier every day thanks to clients like you who are sending their friends. I really want to make sure you get the time you want. How about we set that up today before you leave? Did you notice what I did there? I thanked her for her business. I acknowledged my appreciation of it. I reinforced and reminded her to send her friends and I extended her the invitation to rebook. You gotta be asking 100% of your customers. Don't expect to book 100 because not everybody's lifestyle allows for them to rebook an appointment. Ask 100% of your customers to rebook. Invite 100% of your customers to rebook. The goal is 80. If eight out of 10 rebook, 80%, you are golden. If you ask 100% and any human being can do that, and if you're successful with 80%, you're gonna have to be good to get there, but you can get there, you will find yourself very quickly in the top 10% of earners in the entire professional beauty industry. It's just that simple. Rebooking, the single most important non-technical skill you can ever develop. Last on the list is consistent delivery. You wanna be consistent. You want to be consistent in your quality, the type of work that you do. You want to be consistent in your customer service experience. If you're the place that plays classical music on the, on the radio or on the sound system, when I come in for my next haircut, don't be playing rap. I'm getting mixed messages. I don't know who you are. I don't know what this place is all about. If you're the place that is spotlessly clean, be spotlessly clean. Don't be clean one day and have the place look like a bomb went off the next day and it's just a disaster. If you wear dress slacks and a shirt and a tie, or if you wear uh, a nice pair of slacks and a blouse and dress shoes, wear it the next time too. I'm not telling you not to be an individual and I'm not telling you not to be unique. I'm telling you to be authentic and to be consistent. Nobody likes surprises. Why do we go to McDonald's? The number one fast food chain in the world. I love McDonald's, no secret much to my cardiologist dissatisfaction. I love McDonald's. Why do we go to McDonald's? We don't go there because it's fast. They call it fast food. If you've been to McDonald's, it's not fast. Why do we go to McDonald's? It's not cheap. You ever tried to feed a family of four at McDonald's? You're gonna drop a couple of 20s. Why do we go to McDonald's? It's not good. I mean, it's good, the fries are good, but we know it's not good for us, but we still go to McDonald's. Why do we go to McDonald's? One reason, consistency. You can go to McDonald's in suburban Chicago where I live, you can go to McDonald's in Beijing, and you can go to McDonald's in Los Angeles, California, and you know exactly what you're going to get. McDonald's has earned our trust based on consistency, and consistency is what people seek. Nobody likes surprises. These are my top tips for client retention, for long-term health and wellness of your bottom line, your financial health in the business, and your mental health in the business as you go forward building a successful career. I appreciate you watching the video today. On behalf of my friends at Rock Paper Shears, come visit us online, rockpapershears.com. We're sharing tons of great information and a world-class scissor subscription opportunity. Come learn about us. Thank you for watching.